Let's talk about High Clear Castle. Mm -hmm. How was it to shoot in this antique, old, original castle? It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, like the walk from our base where we'd have our uh, dressing rooms and stuff would, and then you walk down the path that you see in the film that, that Carson walks up to the house. But that would be our morning walk every day and you'd, you'd just be trying to take it in and see it fresh and not take it for granted that this was this amazing location you were working at. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, it's, uh, but it has, um, because it is so beautiful and it's full of very valuable things, you have to be very careful when you're filming in there. There's a painting on the wall in the dining room, which I think is worth... More than the house. 17 million euros, something like that. It's very, yeah. very valuable. Someone has picture. a job that if the, if the house, um, God forbid, were ever set on fire, they have to save that painting. Before anything before else. Before anything else. Yeah. Or before anybody else. Before yeah, anybody else. Out yeah. of the way, Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So there are lots of things like that in the house, so you have to be very careful when you're filming in there. Did you ever, like, touch... Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, were there I've any looked room? that painting, but that's just, just between you and I. Blimey. The king and queen are coming to Downton. What? Were there any rules you had to follow? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, so yes. things like, I mean, teas and coffees, you can't take in, you just have yeah. water in there, and you can't sit on some of the chairs. We had all of our, like, fold-away chairs. Yeah. You can't sort of relax into the space, which feeds into the scenes, probably, because everyone's a little bit in awe of it. Did anything ever break during a shooting? I don't know. Not that I'm aware. Certainly not that I did. No. I no. didn't do anything. Not no. even during shooting the series? No, nothing. Oh, no. Okay. No, we're good. We're good yeah, at what we do. We are. <laughs> Was Lady Carnarvon... Um, <laughs> can, can, sorry? Carnarvon, yeah. yeah, yeah. Carnarvon? <laughs> yeah, 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 you got it right. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> because, oh, okay, no, your yeah, reaction. No, I have very tell particular Tell me about take. Lady Carnarvon. No, you tell me, you asked the question. What? <laughs> no, I just wanted to know if she was there during your shooting. Yes. Yes, she was there. Yes. Yes. And? <laughs> Uh, well, she, I mean, we were just acting in her, like, front room, so it was like, you know, she just sort of wanders around and it's her home. It's her home, Which yeah. is quite surreal. But she'd be, she rides around and you'd see her... Walking the dogs and things like that. Yeah, walking the dogs, yeah, because it's, uh, I mean, it's a pretty amazing front room to have, isn't it? But mm. What did you think when you saw the castle for the very first time? In the film, there's that exact moment, because the build-up, the first five minutes, there's this real suspense and you see the letter from the palace come up and it follows the most bike and the kind of like surging like stirring music from John Lunn and it feels like it gives you sort of tingles on the back of your neck it's like that yeah. it's like that because you drive up through you know I remember coming because obviously I came in once I knew later on so I'd known how huge the show was and I can remember peeking through the car just to get a glimpse of the top of the house and then as you come up you see it it's, it's pretty incredible first time you see it and when tourists go to see the sh go to see it, the High Clear Castle, because there are sort of tourist buses that go there now, and go to the various locations, you you, you often read about how excited people are and they're having their photographs taken with the house. So it, it obviously has quite an impact on people. Should we really go on with it? You mean, leave Downton? Downton Abbey's the heart of this community, and you're keeping it beating. Is the movie more for fans of the series, or also for people who never ever... I think you can see it and appreciate it and enjoy it without having seen the TV show. Mm. Yeah. I hope so. I hope it, that's what we want. I think we want both. Um, I, th I, I absolutely think it's got all the things in there for the fanatics, but because we've got, like I said, the King and Queen coming and the new cast coming in that we know so well from their careers, you know, Imelda Staunton, David Hague and stuff, I feel like there's a fresh 
uh, event happening, so you could enjoy it as a you know someone who hasn't seen the show before. Mm. Actually, I haven't seen the show before. And Have you not? Oh, really? No, no. But then after I saw, uh, I watched the movie, I started the season. Ah, okay. And now I'm uh, at season five. Oh right, oh, really? Okay. Oh, In well one done. Week. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Fair play. Yeah. That's good. How did the success of the series change your life? Well, you've become more unbearable, haven't you? Oh, I'm a monster. <laughs> Absolute monster. I mean, really. Uh, how has it changed our lives? Uh, we've become very rich. Stinking. <laughs> I bought all of these paintings from home. I insist on leather-bound books near me yes, at all times. Yes. Uh, but other than that, no. Uh, I don't think it's changed our lives very much. And how do you explain the success of the series? Um, what fascinates people about Downton Abbey? And I think it's different for different people. I think uh, you can, you find with each character, someone resonates with you. I think there's a character in there that someone feels closest to. Um, you know, different fans have different characters they love. I think you add on top of that an amazing script with Julian, consistently funny and witty and efficient and and varied and not he's not afraid to shake it up. Um, and then you know the costume. Some people like the costumes, yeah. or, um, or the music. Or the I mean, music, John yeah. Lund's amazing, and it's just a cocktail of. Uh, what do you like about it? Everything. I like your character and Daisy. I don't know. Somehow I felt like, okay, it's kind of funny and it's kind of, and this old thing. I have a last question. <laughs> <laughs> Because you were talking about the characters. All characters uh, change during the series and they develop. What do you wish for your own character? Uh, a, a, happy, a happy ending. Yeah, that's what I liked, a happy ending. I'd like to see where he um, adapts, you know, as the house is changing. I'm interested to see whether Andy sticks around to grow, like to stay employed by the house, or whether him and Daisy seek sort of other careers, other opportunities. We'll see. Thank I you. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>